Mama K is in the building joining. Okay. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Hello, Kat. How are you today, Mama very, very K? Well. Thank you so much for joining us. I know that you, you are tired. You've had a very, very busy weekend. You were just telling me that you were traveling and you were in Nigeria very recently doing some amazing work, right? What were you doing? Okay. I was in a school, in a low-income school, just mm -hmm. helping with the graduation and a lot of other things. Amazing so, stuff. But amazing. glad to be back home. Absolutely. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> so, just a little bit. Cape Town <laughs> has a way of just kind of dictating its own temperature. Correct. But let's warm everyone up at home who is experiencing the cold with these uh, beautiful treats that we're about to make. So where yeah. do we begin with this? Well, start with the tea. Like you said, it takes a minute. So mm -hmm. we're going to start with the rooibos tea uh -huh. and cinnamon. Okay. Um, right. You can add as much or as little you know, as you want in it. Yes. And then we had the onion. I've got the fire oat just now. Yes. A little bit of onion. I don't like too much mm -hmm. of it, but I love it. So you, you just add a little bit of sweetness. A not little bit of sweetness. Not over and then we had the ginger, the ginger as, well. as well. And we're just there. And while we're waiting that for steam and boil up, yes. then we're going to go to the main thing here, which is mixing the flour itself the so we right. start with the salt i've already got the flour measured here did you, did you have to have to sift it or anything like that yes normally it's advisable to do that that, that gets that you know the, the air inside those little pockets so that you ultimately have a fluffy and that, airy that's right. okay. and then we have the nutmeg Lovely. and then we had the ginger and uh, uh, chili wow okay and then chive a lot of spices. We're trying to make sure, you know, like I said, it can be done within, you know, a few minutes. Absolutely. We add obviously the cheese and the whole idea is to mix it. But while I'm doing yes. that as well, this is already melted butter. Yeah, you so just you can help me with that. Or like yes, that. and then you need to make it fluffy. Okay, good. So just start with that. You need to help me while in the kitchen. Your all papa cake right. and some <laughs> mama cake. So I'm giving you all the directions. There we go. So, so you just mix. To get right. the air in, then you have the egg and the milk. All at once, eh? All I think I can all yeah. at once. Just beat it gradually in. And then, you know, while I'm doing this, obviously I've got all the cheese chili sauce after all. And it's supposed to help you as well with it. Oh, okay, now you can add the milk. The milk can go in there. And you can already see lots of bubbles forming on Correct. the surface. Can I have, uh, hopefully you have somebody to help you in the kitchen. I uh, do. But mo most of the time I'm on my own. And I actually love working on my own. And it's easy enough. <laughs> like, it's easy enough very, very easy. So let's, let's move on to the next. So you keep mixing. Still, please do. There we go. There we go. So you keep mixing and... Basically, this is what we get. Okay, and then so, you but you make sure you mix very well, mm -hmm. and then you have your flour, you know, first, and then you get your rolling pin. So, question: Once you get to this stage, how do you know that you have the right consistency of dough? Is is it about you know kind of pressing it and then seeing when it bounces back? That is part of it, and as well, it shouldn't really burn. So, you need to make sure you need to have the right consistency. Excellent. So what we normally will advise as well is, well, we're adapting, we're in Africa, so we need to adapt. <laughs> yes. So we have a glass of cup here and you, you know, kind of glaze it with flour and mm -hmm. the whole idea is you cut it in. To make sure that it doesn't, that the scones don't stick to the glass, exactly. you get a nice clean shape Correct. out of it. And while you're doing that, uh, Golden Cloud Scone Mix makes it super easy to bake up your favorite scones. You just add milk, eggs. And oil or butter, whichever you prefer, and uh, it just bakes in 20 minutes. Super, super easy. And as you've heard, the secret to perfectly fluffy scones is not just in that beautiful uh, technique that you're going to use to mix up your wet ingredients as well, but of course, golden flour, egg flour as well. And the trick to getting the, the extra, extra light and fluffy is to actually use cold butter um, that results in that flawless tasty scone at the end of the day so that's looking good, good right now yes we've got three you know there and you could actually mix all this up again to get another, another one. one we don't yes. waste in the kitchen lovely um now this one is an interesting bit which we're going to add i've got the pan already there yes. so we're going to add this is honey mm -hmm. so we're going to add the honey if you help me bring the salt, salt. and the chili should we go all in 
Um, let's go first. All right, here we let's go. Let's go first. Okay, I, I, I've already witnessed what <laughs> let's she go can do it. once it goes into okay, I think that's too much salt. But let's go for <laughs> it. <laughs> you seem to love your salt. Still, let's go for it. Okay, so now. Um, oh, but. Okay. <laughs> right, so the chili, the chili as well. Here we go. So we mix it, then we mm -hmm. add the cold butter as well. Cold butter, here we go. And the whole idea after this, I'm going to just take it out. Because it is quite high. Yes, it is now too high. So the whole idea, I'll switch it off, so let me leave it there now. So the whole idea is to melt it, to let it cool down. After it cools down, you roll it, and then we get that. Uh -huh. And, with and this, you put it in the fridge uh -huh. as well. That's the butter that you're going to use. That's the butter. At the end. Correct. Wonderful stuff. Mama Kay, thank you very much. Now, Golden Cloud has a new and exciting competition coming your way with a weekly celebration of a spring high tea. Now, tune in to Espresso over the next few days to find out how you can stand a chance to win a 10,000 Rand weekly. But in the meantime, put your pinkies up, enjoy this beautiful snack, and visit our, our espresso dot, uh, espresso show com website. Now, when it comes to jollof rice, Mama K, you know the perfect thing to go with it, and that is, of course, chicken. You can never go wrong with chicken. You can never go wrong with chicken. <laughs> Hunter, how, your thoughts on chicken? Is, is chicken a yay or an a for you? It's, yeah, it's yeah. all a yay. It's all a yay. And it's all about the taste buds. So, Mama K, we're obviously using our Kroger Bliss double cream yogurt, and we use that as a marinade for our chicken. Let's take us through the chicken. Okay, this is a very simple recipe that anyone can do. Um, basically, you would have cleaned and washed your chicken, which we've done, and they do sell the ginger and uh, garlic paste, but you can make your own as well. Mm -hmm. So we add that to the chicken. You can add as little or as much as you want, but I like my chicken with a lot of garlic and ginger. Then we had the thyme, then we had chicken seasoning. I'll add a little bit of that because we're going to add salt. Uh, so a little bit of salt and a little bit of curry. Well, I'm going to get you guys because I can see you're watching me, but we don't stand still in the kitchen. <laughs> no, we don't so stand still. So we need the marinade to be prepared. Okay. So if we get the clover double cream um, into the blender. So, Hunter, you can come and help mm -hmm. me here. Yeah. So, yeah. Mama Kay, how much Dollar of our sense. double bliss, our bliss double cream plain yogurt do we need? Well, it depends on your taste. We've got just about four pieces of chicken here. I'll say maybe two okay, kind so of you can do spoons. Two giant spoons yes, for please. it. Oh, and what is amazing about our Clover Bliss Double Cream Plain Yogurt for this recipe is you are guaranteed delicious flavors, and that's all thanks to that creamy indulgence. And for the best results, you can marinate the chicken overnight to really get that juicy, tender result. But it, you can't go wrong by doing it as we do right now. So we're going to add some peppers. Yes, that would have been chopped. Um, Add a little, depending on if you like your chili really hot, because they're really very Oh, you like chili? <laughs> okay, so add, add as much add as you want. Add, add it. it. <laughs> <laughs> then you could add a little bit of oil. That's just to help with the blending, you know, when we blend it. Just a little. That, that's fine. So now you could go and blend it. So I'll blend that for us. Thank you very much. Not a lot of ingredients, but I suppose it just shows you a little goes a long way. <laughs> Mama K, I think we need more. We need more okay, ingredients. Okay, add, add more of the yogurt. We need more add ingredients. More of the I think dough we dough don't dough need dough to Go for it. Go for it. Too relaxed here. Yeah? I would ask you, Hunter, to please add that. Okay. Now you are performing for us yes. a little bit later. Are you excited? I'm so excited. So so excited. excited. What can so excited. we expect from your performance today? I'm actually performing one of the songs I'm performing at um, the Sexy Vibes concert. So that's really exciting. It's one of the yeah. singles. Giving a little taste of yep. what I can wait. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I heard a reaction earlier on second Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna add a little bit there. Mm. Just a little bit. That looks oh. good. And what is important is you need to marinate mm. either overnight or 20 minutes before. Just go. to make sure the marinade goes into it. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. Okay. And we're going to mix it. Do you want to have a go at the mixing? Fantastic. So now okay, I can pull this over for us. Yes, please. And then we need to have the oven. Just yeah, keep going. Just a little, keep oh, going. Okay, I've got a heavy hand. I think we did really, really well. 
So this is okay to do as we've done now, but it's also great to do the night before and then you yeah, can just sure. pop it onto the into the sleeve and pop it into the oven. There oh, we go. Nice. Voila. Simple. It is a Quick. simple recipe. It's very <laughs> simple. It's very simple. I love that. Well, if you want to get your hands on this delicious spicy grilled chicken that Mama Pei has just shown us how to make, it is available on our website, expressoshow.com. Hunter Rose, I can't wait. In fact, Mama Pei also mm. said she's very excited to play nice. with home a little bit later. Of course, this is your feel-good breakfast show if you want to get your hands on this delicious recipe. Last time in the kitchen, of course, we celebrate World Jollof Rice Day and we've spent the morning showing you some delicious recipes. Now this following one is a firm favorite plantain chips. They're a street food. You'll find them everywhere uh, in countries in West Africa and uh, you can prepare them very, very, very simply in with three We actually really get upset when people say call it a banana. I'm being honest with you. It's like look at the difference. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, it's, and, and there's also a marked difference in the kind of texture and taste that that you get, right, Chef? That's true. Yeah, that's true. So, um, I understand that this one, uh, you know, it kind of starts off green like this, but as you can see in the picture that we're about to show you, as it ripens, the skin turns more towards black, yeah. right, than you would find in a in a banana in, in a way that this. Now, how do you go about preparing this? Is it something that you can pick off from a tree and eat as is? Um, do you want me to go first? Please, you can okay, go Okay, because it's probably done differently in from Cameroon, Nigeria and Cameroon. We've been speaking about that earlier. Yes. Normally for us, you top and till um, the, what we call, the, well, this is why I call top and till. Yes. Um, but like you said, yes, it goes from green, but you can still use the green. Be mm -hmm. careful with your knife. Um, you kind of score it, as yes. we call it, and then you take the it's much firmer. Out. Yeah, and you can see the much firmer. So you can you cut it into different shapes. Um, you could make round. You could make that okay. size, which is okay. diagonal. Um, normally, it's round if you want it to go a long way, because you can imagine you only get yes, only a few, yes, exactly. and then you could dice it as well. As well. So um, I don't know, Chef Desmond, do you want to add anything? Go ahead, please. Yeah. Like for example, this nice, at times you cut this one. Yes. Yes, but that way that we make our own plant Okay. Yes, okay. But other time, but other system. Uh huh. Plantain souffle. Plantain souffle. Yeah. We oui, please show we, us. We do this. We do this in our restaurant. More fire. So people they eat it more with the fish or. Yeah. Okay. Just take care of this. Cut. Straight. Can see top and tail. Yes. Mm -hmm. By the way, can you can you find plantain here in, in South Africa? Are there, are there shops that yes, sell it? you, you yeah, can get in a lot of African shops. It oh. actually grows in the Eastern Cape as well. And I have an aunt who has it in a garden here in Cape Town. Oh my! Right. But she only grew it two years ago, so it hasn't. Nothing oh. has come out of it. Okay, too. okay. <laughs> so we're, gonna, we're about to show you how to make the plantain souffle. Okay, souffle. So okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You chop it like but on a different way. Uh -huh. Cut like this, and cut like this. Ten big, big chunky pieces. Just like this, yeah. mm -hmm. Then we deep fry it. Okay. When you deep fry it, you take it out, and then you have to press it. Press it down. Then press it down. Okay. To then to apply your spices. Mm -hmm. and then you deep fry it again, make it really crispy. Okay. okay. Yeah. So in this regard, now we're going to be using those three spices that looks like we got salt, we got paprika. Ginger, 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 and um, ginger and chili, and chili but it's optional. It's optional. Some people you don't need to add anything at all. You, you just fry it as it is. But the good thing about plantain as well is you could actually grill it. You know, you could fry it. Yeah. Um, oh. You could boil it. You could do Very anything you want with it. Like he said, you know, make it into that, and then you mash it. So mm -hmm. I just like mine with uh, chili and ginger. Okay. The Ghanaians normally add ginger and chili to their one. Okay. Nigerians, some people add salt, some people don't add salt. What about in Cameroon? Which, which is true. Uh, she just she just mentioned Kanye. Uh -huh. The Ghanaian people I know they love eating uh, kelewele. Kelewele. Yes. <laughs> what is kelewele? Kelewele. They use it. Yeah. So so call it. Call it. Oh, they so call it kelewele. Yeah, they call it kelewele. Yeah, the way they they chop it. So this one they just chop it like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Into small. Into small like this. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And then. You have to spice it up with uh, with uh, ginger. Uh -huh. yeah. Now tell me, 
because of, I mean, you, you would have seen me earlier on kind of smelling it because it, it kind of has <laughs> a, a banana <laughs> issue. Yeah. I didn't want to offend anybody. It's the same family as a banana. It is the same family. It's so, same can you family. use it in sweet dishes? Yes, so you it's can. not necessarily only savory, you can no. have it as a dessert. You can bake it. Whoa. You can bake it as a plantain loaf. You can be very creative with it. It's an ice cream on it on top. Exactly. Chocolate yeah. nyana. Correct. So when it's uh, frying like that, if you find, uh, what do you kind of look for to notice? Right. You need to make sure the oil is not too hot, mm -hmm. not too cold. Okay. If it's too cold, it becomes soggy. Uh -huh. If it's too hot, you get a burnt, yes. <laughs> burnt plantain. Yes. So you need to get it at medium high. Okay. And then the whole idea is once it's brown on yep. one side, you turn it the other way, okay. you know, to okay. be brown Lovely. because you want it brown, golden, you know, color. And that's how you end up yes. with something beautiful right. like that. Chefs, thank you so, so much. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here and learning all about the different cuisines that make our continent as beautiful as it is along with, with its people as well. Of course, if you'd like to explore some of these recipes, you can go onto our website. Eat World Jollof Rice Day and what could be better than a classic jollof rice dish scrumptious enough to enjoy on its own or as a perfect accompaniment to a meal from Mama Kay. I said one of the best in the biz is here to show us how. Mama Kay, how many times in your life have you cooked jollof? I can't count it. So many times. Even in my sleep I can think of jollof rice. You can but the it. thing about jollof rice is it's very easy, literally easy. You can make it. So let's start first. You say that but now we've no, got no, to prove it. No, no, but you see, it's very, very easy. So the, the first thing note to be, we did a dance, okay? All right. I, I attempted to, to do the, the warm-up dance. Uh-huh. Um, do you have to do that every time you cook jollof rice? Yes, okay. just to calm you down and, yeah. you know, and, oh, yeah. and get the, the serotonin yeah, pumping, I right. love that. <laughs> I know this is a classic and I suppose as easy as it, as you say it is to make, you've got to get it right though, you've got to oh. honour the ingredients, you've got to honour the dish because this is part of our culture, this is not yes. when we talk about our cuisine, it's an expression of who we are Correct. and we love that and of course you're using our clover classic um, and it's ideal, it's versatile fat spread that can be used daily for spreading, for cooking, for baking, we use it almost every time we bake in this kitchen contains the seven vitamins and made with ketchup clover cream for a smoother spreadability if you need that but obviously it adds all the fat that we need to transfer the flavors to this dish okay so what have you started out with? right i started with a spread obviously you know like you said as a base then i added a little bit of oil okay um you could add as much you know as little as you want but because this is the quantity of the rice so i've added about roughly two tablespoons okay. of that and then we add the onions you let it simmer and you don't want too much of it as well a lot of people don't know but that is one of the secrets as well to making uh -huh. we add bay leaves to it i'll just take it off uh, you know to it at the base then this is really really one of the secrets yeah just, just bring it along oh, that's yeah, fine for now Thank you. Those are the best, you did very well. Those are the best of tomato that I've ever cut in my life for you, Mama Kay. So we don't know. add our tomato paste. This is really important. You need to get the right brand and the good, to, you know, brand of tomato paste. Because it, it really does form part of the base. Correct. Uh, this is something I've discovered with making curries as well. That mm -hmm. you, you cook off your spices, you cook off your tomato paste, you cook off your drop of water okay. as well. Um, maybe maybe let's add a little bit more because the rice is we want more of this than all the yeah, others and then we okay. can add tomatoes as well okay no that's fine that's, we don't waste we don't waste in my kitchen i love that thank you enough, so enough. we now blend um <laughs> and then the whole idea is we're going to add it to this while this is simmering as you can see Awesome. Oh, you've been doing this. Do you work in the kitchen? I, I try. I really <laughs> try. You know, you know what I do is I work alongside amazing chefs like yourself. Uh -huh. Then I steal whatever you say uh -huh. and then I pass it off as my own awesome. uh, achievement in the kitchen. So I always look good in front of the chefs. They always like, wow, you do that so well. It's only because I've been able to every morning start my day with the likes of you. Awesome. Amazing chefs. What a so our uh, next step now, we've added the, that mixture paste. We're going to now add the rice. Um, this is basmati rice, but you, you could use long grain, 
if the cooking on grain, you would have washed it okay. and get the you know got the starch out. Okay. Um, this is the trick now to jollof rice. I'm just going to add everything. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. You don't want too much water. Jollof cooks on steam. A lot of people think you need to add more water and more keep water. Adding. Okay. Yeah. So once you've kind of, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So I've got all of it kind of coated with a paste. And I, I added a little bit of the garlic earlier on as well, but it op is optional, optional as well. You know, like ginger and a little yeah. bit. So now you can see where we are now with this. And then we've got our stock, which could be chicken or any kind of stock. Then I add that to it. So the water just really just covers the rice. Okay. And another trick is I always use foil. So to keep you were the measuring the foil heat. earlier. Yes. Okay. So the whole idea is now I don't need to stir it anymore. I just cover it, and the whole idea now is the steam should just the steam do the job. Do the job. Oh, and right, you okay. keep it on low heat. You don't want it too high because if not, it will burn. Simple, and about how long do you cook it for then? Like this one, twenty minutes or there about 20 25 minutes depending on the kind of rice check only after 50 minutes and do not turn okay, it okay don't play with it too much don't play it with too much just that. check there's water keep hiding water but this is the best nigerian jollof rice i know Ghanaians. sorry yeah. my Ghanaians. hey listen i feel like we've plugged around the world because we knew we knew when we were speaking about jollof yeah. rice that this was going to divide the uh -huh. it always does it, it does but we are here to celebrate it regardless of what side of the border you come from we are here to celebrate this amazing dish and you because you are amazing you're a gift to us thank you so much for bringing your jollof rice to us it's magical it's beautiful it's delicious and it's relatively simple to make so please Thank you.